for indications where immobilization of the knee is required. For example, fractures of the knee joint. Define the position of the limb before the start of application. This will give the patient an indication of which position he has to maintain. Choose the appropriate width of stockinette. Measure the length from the top of the thigh down to the ankle. Add another 20 centimeters or 8 inches and cut. Roll up the stockinette before applying onto the limb to overcome sliding pressure. Roll off over the leg and remove all wrinkles and creases. Apply padding to the limb by wrapping it from the ankle up to the thigh. Use a second roll of padding if needed. Use extra padding for any bony prominences. It's recommended to wear protective gloves before applying plaster of Paris. Select the appropriate width of the plaster of Paris bandage. Activate the bandage by dipping into cool water. Remove from water and gently squeeze to drain. Apply cast from the ankle, moving proximally up to the thigh. Use a second roll if needed. Apply a reinforcement strip made from folded and activated cast tape to the back of the knee. Smooth down. Apply more plaster of Paris to secure the reinforcement strip and smooth down. down the stockinette from the proximal end. Smooth the stockinette down into the cast to create a smooth surface. Trim any excess. Smooth edges provide skin protection and comfort. Secure the distal end of the stockinette into place with two rounds of Plaster of Paris bandages. Check for desired range of motion and any points that may cause irritation or pressure. After approximately three to five minutes, the cast is set and the patient can be released. After 24 hours, the cast is fully set.